Hello my friends. Today's subject is moon phases. Many people begin their night sky viewing by looking at our moon. After all, next to the sun, it is the brightest object in the sky. And most of us are aware that the moon's appearance changes, and this is what we refer to as the different phases of the moon. Let's begin by learning the names of these different phases. We'll start with the new moon and watch as the moon appears to grow or wax until it is full, then decrease or wane to the next new moon. There are eight different benchmarks when it comes to moon phases. The first is called new moon, then waxing crescent, then first quarter, and waxing gibbous, and finally we reach the full moon. Then the moon begins to decrease or wane, waning gibbous, last quarter, and finally waning crescent before it becomes new moon again. All of this takes about 29 and a half days. Now what is it that causes the different phases of the moon? It all has to do with the fact that the moon revolves around the earth all the while the earth is revolving around the sun. So depending on where the moon is in its orbit around the earth, the half of the moon that is lit by the sun appears to us here on earth to change shape. So after new moon, the first phase is called waxing crescent. In this phase, the moon rises in the east after sunrise, but you can't see it during the day. When the sun sets and the sky darkens, the moon pops into view. It's always seen after sunset low in the west. The best time to see the crescent moon is two or three days after the new moon when it is fatter and brighter. The moon continues to grow, or waxes, until we reach first quarter moon. The first quarter is when the moon has completed a quarter of an orbit around the earth. Half of the moon is visible, so it's sometimes called the half moon. Where I live in the northern hemisphere, the sunlit side is on the right side. After first quarter, the moon continues to grow in size, and we call this waxing gibbous. A waxing gibbous moon rises in the east during the afternoon and presses south in the evening. It sets in the west just before dawn. The word gibbous means humpbacked. You can see the humpback shape in the gibbous moon. Now when the moon reaches the point in its orbit where the earth is between the sun and the moon in a line like this, the sun will illuminate the entire side of the moon that's facing us here on earth. And this is when we see the full moon. The full moon always comes about two weeks after the new moon. The moon is about halfway around in its orbit of the earth and it rises at sunset and sets at sunrise and is visible all night long. The full moon is the only moon phase that shines all night. Next the moon begins to wane or shrink in size as it appears to us. A waning gibbous moon will rise in the east well after sunset, pass due south in early dawn hours, and set in the west sometimes after dawn. The moon continues to shrink in size until it reaches last quarter. A last quarter moon shows the sunlit side of the moon on the left. It rises around midnight and sets mid-morning. So unless you're a night owl, you probably have never seen the last quarter moon. The moon continues to wane until it finally reaches the waning crescent stage. Waning crescent, or morning crescent, rises a couple hours before the sun rises. It is barely visible all day long, and it sets a couple hours before the sun. The best time to see the waning crescent is just before sunrise. So there you have it, our beautiful moon in all its wondrous glory. Hopefully the moon phases will be a little less of a mystery to you now. And if you like this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing to learn more about our night sky. We have a lot to talk about. The stars, galaxies, nebula, and so much more are waiting to be discovered. 